Hello and welcome to Feast One's Eyes on Watches. For those who are new to my watch channel, I do like skeleton watches. And again, you'll see that this is a skeleton watch. So that is the very first nice feature on this watch. I do like the face on the watch, and I'll talk about that in some detail in a moment. And I also like the flywheel down at the bottom here. I'll just move this in so you can just see this working. Now, on the website, they do state that this could be a turbulent, but obviously it's not. But it's still nice. Now, the face of the watch is a little bit unusual. First off, the hour part of the watch on it. And uh, you can see you've got a 12 o'clock just at the top from here. And then you've got raised batons in black around. However, to be able to tell the time accurately with this watch is questionable. But it's still a nice piece. I think that these are more like a, a wrist bracelet but it's still quite good. Now some of the features that you see on the watch are for decoration only, and they don't actually have any function. So this wheel around the top up here, I'll just move it in closer. You can see that it says that it's stainless steel and it has lots of other writing on it, but it doesn't actually do anything. The cogs underneath if I bring this in very very close you'll see that they're actually meshed together so again they don't do anything it just makes the watch face look nice and the same with this cog wheel over here and the information underneath it's all again just for decoration but for me, I actually quite like it. Now, I know that won't be for everybody's taste, but they do look quite nice. I bought this watch off AliExpress and I paid £48.95 for it. And that was including the postage and packing as well. So that was quite good value. The glass in the watch is Hardlex. And I've noticed when I'm moving it from side to side, there's a slight blue tinge to it. And I think it's got a little bit of AR coating on it. You'll also see written down here that it's got 21 joules and it's automatic. The case on the watch is stainless steel. And as you can see, it's finished in a matte black finish. And it is finished to a, a nice standard. Where the lugs are, there's no sharp edges on these. If I just turn it around to the other side where the crown is. Now it's a sign crown, so it's quite nice. And again, finished very, very nicely. The hands on the Eilang Automatic are blue and they've been cut out in the center. So again, it just reveals some of the works inside. And as you can see, it goes down to arrow heads, and those heads are in white, and that is also a little bit of loom. The movement in the watch is an Alang original. Setting the time on the Alang automatic is you pull the crown out to its first and only click, and then you can just adjust this. Now, there is no second hand on this watch. And once you set the time, pop it back in and the time is set. This is the loom on the Alang. Now, as you can see, you've got two arrow heads, but they have come up quite nice. I've taken a pin out of the bracelet so you can have a look at the back of the watch in quite some detail. And as you can see, you've got a large display window case around the outside here is in stainless steel and it's a screw down case and there's information on there that tells you that it's stainless steel there's the reference number and there's some water resistance as well 
I really like the back of this watch because it's been finished in the matte black that goes with the case of the watch and even the balance wheel in black looks really good. Now I know a lot of people are never going to see the back of a watch but for watch enthusiasts I think that this is really quite a nice feature. The A-Lang comes with a black stainless steel bracelet. It has solid end links. It's not loose so it's made very very nicely and it has a butterfly deployment. The inside here is finished very very good and you can see again it's all stainless steel and polished nicely. So the bracelet itself and its finish is very good and it does complement the watch beautifully. To get the bracelet to fit my seven and a quarter inch wrist I've had to take out four of these links and you can see that these are split pins that just go through them and they're quite easy to remove and just while I'm just showing you this the actual quality of the bracelet is not bad at all and even in between the links it's all finished very very nicely. The dimensions of this A-Lang watch are the diameter here is 40 mil and that's quite a nice size case thickness is 14 mil the crown is 6 mil from lug to lug it's 49 mil the bracelet at the top up here in between the lugs is 20 mil and it goes down to 18 mil and if you look at the bracelet as well it's a very nice slim looking bracelet so I do like that Will the A-Lang fit under the cuff? Well, it does, and it does look nice. I like the white shirt with the black watch. And I also like the bracelet on here because it's very, very slim, and it allows the watch to slip comfortably underneath the cuff. So I'm gonna give that a 100% pass. Will the A-Lang fit under the cuff with cufflinks? Well, I've chose some black cufflinks with a little bit of a silver border on them. And I think it does look good together. And it does fit very well under the cuff. There are no snags with this. And it does look nice. So I'm going to give that a 100% pass. What to wear with the Eilang watch? Well, this watch is quite a fashion statement, so I would recommend that you actually don't cover this watch up. Go for something like that's on the screen at the moment, nice short sleeved shirt. Let the watch be seen. And the other two pictures just depict it as well. At the end of the day, obviously it's your choice, and even under the cuff it does look good, but it's such a shame to cover this really attractive watch up. To sum up my review of this A-Lang watch, wow it certainly is an individual looking watch. It's a fashion statement. Can I recommend this? Well if you want something that's very individual that stands out on your wrist then yes I can recommend this. Thank you so much for watching this review. Please remember that I'll be doing lots of other reviews on other interesting watches in the near future. It would also help this channel immensely if you liked and subscribed. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching this review. Please like and subscribe.